What's going on YouTube? Welcome to episode 60 of the top 10 sports card polls of the week presented by me, Ian of If Sports Cards. We're getting our week started on a Tuesday this week, so a short work week for most of us, which is awesome. I hope you guys had a great Labor Day weekend. We got a pretty massive list for you here looking at it. it uh, we got a couple polls under 10,000, but only a couple with the lowest being 6,000. We uh, have some big heavy hitters at the top of this list though. I'm really excited to show you guys. But we're going to start off with some honorable mentions this week. And the first one, as I try to do always, is going to be a retail poll. So I hope you guys enjoy. Please hit that like button. Last week the video didn't get to a thousand likes. That's the first time in a while. So don't forget guys, hit that like button. Get this in the eyes of other people who would enjoy this. Thank you guys for the support. I'll see you at the end. Kicking off our honorable mentions this week is King Street Breaks over on Facebook and they're opening 2021 Optic Football. This is a blaster box. Check out this bowl. Let's go. Let's get a big one. Come on. Come on. Let's get a big one. Here we go. Davis Mills base. Oh, shit. Holy sh let's go, Brad, Brad, huge. Some people have all the luck, don't they? I have this Mac Jones downtown at $1,100 based on its most recent sale, but this came out of a $30 blaster box. My time will come. It will come. Our next honorable mention comes from Mikey B Cards over on YouTube. He's opening 2021 Select Football. Matt Jones. I mean, it's a good sign. Matt uh, Jones, thank you. Joe Burrow. Yeah. yeah. Oh, come on, guys. God, that is sexy. That is sexy. Miami. Is it Miami? I'm happy to see. AFC East? No, no. It's, oh, it's Josh Allen. Oh, that is so sick. Holy oh, God. my God. God. Josh Griffin, what a card. Wow. <laughs> I thought it looked a little different. Dude, it's like crazy. One of one, Josh Allen. This is the Josh Allen Color Wheel Black one of one. This insert is very fire. Very cool looking card here. Mikey B, don't, he needs a mic check. Yeah, he maxed out his mic on this poll, but <laughs> for good reason. I got this one at $2,874. Why so specific, you ask? Well, because that's exactly what it sold for on eBay just a few days ago. Our third honorable mention comes from BCL Breaks over on Instagram. They're opening 2021 Select Football. No, no, I didn't. I was looking at the wrong card. All right, here we go. RPA. Well, we don't know. Orange? That's orange. Could this be the AFC North? Could this be the North? Bengals! Oh, no. Bengals! Bengals! Oh! Bang! Look at that patch! Oh, my God! Look at that patch! Holy oh, my God! That's a one of one! That's a one of one! <laughs> oh, my God! Oh, my God, John! Oh, John, my God, John! Go! Oh, my God! Oh. My no flipping heaven. way, John. <laughs> I can't believe these guys didn't know it was a one-on-one. -on -one. That's a sick looking card here. I have this Jamar Chase Prime Selection Signatures Black Nike Laundry Tag one of one at $5,000. And that is based on the sale of this card. The same card with the NFL Shield sold just a couple days ago for $5,600 on eBay. I, I gave a little premium on the NFL shield over the laundry tag, but still an amazing card. Our final honorable mention for this week is from Bridgeport Hobby over on Instagram, and they're opening 2020 Optic Football. A little, little blast from the past here. Check out this bowl. <gasps> It's gonna be gold. Bookend, 10 of 10. This is gonna be huge. Oh my God, this is gonna be huge. We're gonna pull from the back. This is gonna be huge. This is gonna be huge. This is gonna be gold. Oh my God! What the? This is the Justin Herbert rated rookie gold 
10 out of 10, which is bookend, it's jersey number, it's beautiful. I have this one at $5,600, and that's based on the sale of this autograph card. You can see $13,755 is a lot more than $5,600, but I did some research, and in Optic, the autographs actually sell for about two to three times more than the non-autograph versions of these cards. I have to think it has to do a lot with the on-card autograph. Just think of Prism had on-card autographs. Those cards would be insane. But that does it for our honorable mentions. It's time to get into our top 10 polls of the week. Kicking us off at number 10 this week, we are with Backyard Breaks over on Twitch, and they're opening 2021 Select Football. This is a popular product this week. Wait. What, the f what is that? No idea. What is that? We may have a one on one. Wait, what? Justin no! Fields! Oh, oh my god! god. Holy oh shit. my god! That's going up. That's going to Glover. Oh Glover just got his whole spot paid for. This is the Justin Fields field level black. Field level is the hardest version of these cards to pull. So this is the biggest Justin Fields card in this product. And I have it at $6,000. That's based on two gold field level out of tens selling for around $3,000 on eBay. So I'm thinking this will be about two times those sales. At number nine this week, we're with Zach over at Wax Hub on Facebook, and he's opening 2021 Select Football. Yeah, he makes shit up all the time. Oh, come on. Come on, baby. Gold field level. Gold field level. Come on. Rookie. It's a good sign. Talk about a monster. Talk about a monster, baby. <whistles> Three of ten T Law field level. Here's T Law's version of the same card, but gold number to ten. I have this one just a little bit higher than Justin Fields. I have this one at $6,500, but the first one has been actually listed at $18,000 or best offer on eBay. Reverting back to what I said about the Justin Fields gold selling for around $3,000, my calculations have T-Law a little more than double Fields. At number eight, we are with Budget Breaks STL. I assume that means St. Louis, but that's just a guess. They're over on Twitch opening 2021 Select Football. Man, unbelievable. Oh my God. Holy hell. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Oh my word. Damn. Oh my word. Mac Jones, black, one of one. Mr. Ryan, Mr. Beach Bum, congratulations, man. This, my friend, is a bomb. I mean, bomb. This is the Mac Jones concourse level black which concourse is the lowest of the four in order they are concourse premier club and then field level but i have this card at ten thousand dollars it is a tough one to comp the closest comp i could find is this club level snakeskin number to two that sold for five thousand five hundred and fifty dollars i'm thinking that one of one concourse level is gonna be just under double that but I am very interested to see where this card is going to end. At number seven, we are with Ride Dollar Rips, who breaks over on the Loop app, but this video is posted on their Instagram channel. 
and it is from 2021 Prism Basketball. It's a warrior. I don't know who else, what other warriors in the set. Did you see what I saw? <laughs> oh my god. Holy shit. Sick card right there. Steph Curry's flashback signatures, black one of one. Uh, I mean, this card is crazy. I have it at $11,000. The base version of this card, which is not numbered, sells for at or just over $1,000. And there is currently a Mojo out of 25 listed for $6,500 or best offer on eBay. And number six, we were with Catch Sports Cards who is a Chinese breaker, and Peng Zai was fortunate enough to grab this screen record for us and post it on his Instagram. Check out this monster poll out of 2021 Prism Basketball. <coughs> Anthony Davis. Jinjo CC! What the fuck? Jinjo CC Chan! Oh my holy god, bro. Oh. <laughs> oh, what a freaking poll. This is the gold autograph, bookend 10 out of 10 again. I have this one at $12,000. The Mojo out of 25 just sold for $5,500 last week on eBay. And there's this PSA 9 of the same card currently at eBay auction with a current bid over $10,000 ending today. And number five this week, we are with Best Card Breaks over on YouTube, and they're opening 2021 Select Football. What is a thick pack? Wow, what is... Oh, we got a relic in here. I wonder if we're going to have a relic auto. Uh, let's see what we get. I guess you can get relic autos in here, too. Let's see if we got one. Justin Fields base and Kenneth Gainwell base for the Eagles. And let's see what we got. I like that color. Got a Rondale Moore on the bottom. I like this color. Oh, it is. Oh, are you kidding me? One of one shield. Trevor Lawrence. What? What? <laughs> oh, my goodness, my friends. You've got to be kidding me right now. This is the Trevor Lawrence Rookie Signatures Memorabilia Black Disco One of One. I have this one at $14,500. Last week I had his Jumbo Rookie Signature Swatches Black One of One at $13,500. But unlike that design, which included four One of Ones, this one only has two. It has the black, which comes in hobby boxes, and this black disco, which comes in the H2 hybrid boxes. And Scott, the person who sent this in to me, says that this was a random team spot for $79. <laughs> That's pretty crazy. At number four this week, we are with East West Card Breaks over on YouTube, and they're opening 2021 Select Football. This should be our auto. Come on. Back card, Devonta. No! a nice card this is the mac jones prime selection signatures black nfl shield one of one i have this one at seventeen thousand five hundred dollars which is just 3k over the trevor lawrence we just saw but i want to point out that east west card breaks have started doing their own top 10 polls each week of cards that they personally pull and this was number one on their list but they had some other monster polls that could have possibly made this list but uh, I'm going to make you go check out their video, which, again, is in the description box below if you want to see those polls. At number three, we are with Steel City Collectibles over on YouTube, and they're opening the newly released 2021 Optic Basketball. Oh, look at that. 101 Jalen Green. For the Rockets. Hit train goes by. Jalen Green, 101 gold vinyl. That is a nasty card right here. 
You heard what it is, the Jalen Green Gold Vinyl. I have this one at $18,500, which looking at comps again, this was very hard. It's a new product. There's not a ton of 101 of Jalen Greens being sold, but he did have a Prism Draft Picks 101 that sold for just about $9,000, so I doubled that sale. At number two, we are with Triangle Cards 24-7 over on Instagram, and this poll is from 2022 Tops Tier 1 Baseball. This is where things get interesting. Man. I got to do number one. I got to. I got to. Number one, why not? Why the heck not? I picked it up and I thought about it and I was like, I think we're going to hit it. I think I think we're going to go number one. I'm not going to change my mind on it because I'm going to feel really if, if there's a monster card in this box. I hope there is. Ooh, oh, there is an interesting auto in the back. That is a different kind of auto on the back for sure. Something different on the back for sure. Oh, come on, please. What the freak is that? That's New York Yankees and sideways. Holy frick. Oh, my God. Please. Please. Oh, my God. It's a one of one. Jesus Christ. Oh, my God. It could be the Babe Ruth. It could be the Babe Ruth cut. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. That is the number one pull ever for me. Ever. This would be the number one poll for just about anybody in the hobby. Definitely everyone watching this video. What a massive card. I got this one at $60,000, which is in line with what this 2022 Top Steerling Legendary Cut Signatures Babe Ruth sold for on eBay. This card is definitely worthy of a number one spot. In fact, the last three shows, this would have been number one. But we actually have one better this week. Check this out. At number one, we are with Vortex Sports Cards over on Twitch. And they're opening 2020 Prism Football. I cannot believe it has taken this long for this card to be pulled. Oh my god, dude! Oh my god, dude! Oh my god, this could be... Oh my, oh my god, For the dude. Chargers, who has the Chargers? Oh my god. Bobby. Oh my god, dude. Bobby, come on. My dude is frozen, solid, and I would be too. You don't have to say anything else. What a monster card. I got this at $300,000, but I've heard that this card could be worth anywhere from $250,000 to $500,000. Regardless, this is going to be one of the biggest pulls of the year. The individual who actually ended up getting this card from this break has said that they have received a lot of offers, which, you know, rightfully so. But they're not disclosing them at this time. But when it does sell, we will know how much this card sold for. How about that week? This was a massive week in sports cards. A lot of big cards pulled. Let me know which card was your favorite. In the comment box below, it could be a reaction, just the card itself. I don't care. I'm just curious what you guys think of these cards. Also, looking at the Beckett release calendar, we got some cool products coming out. Again, we had one optic basketball pull, which I assume was probably a first off the line box. I probably should have checked, but I'm sure we'll get some more out of that product. Museum collection is a very cool baseball product. So we could see some pulls out of there. Upper deck MVP hockey for you hockey fans out there. And we have Donruss elite football, which, you know, this isn't a bad product. It's pretty nice. There's some soccer. There's some WWE. There's something for everyone coming out over the course of the next week. But if you see something pulled over the course of the next week, please send me a DM or an email. Both of those are in the description box below. Also, the links to all these videos are also in the description box below. Show these guys support because they deserve it. It's not easy making this list. So congrats to everyone who made it. And thank you guys for the help this week creating this list. And the support has been phenomenal. Thank you guys so much. We're so close to 30,000 subscribers and we got some t-shirts made to give away. So in the next couple of weeks, we'll be running that. So stay tuned for that. Keep your eyes open. You don't want to miss it. But I got to give one more thank you. Special thank you to my channel members. Thank you guys for the additional support.
That'll do it for this week, guys. We'll see you again next week on the Top 10 Sports Card Polls of the Week. Until then, be smart, be safe, and be humble. Ian out.